Hey guys, this is a friend Mainak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel. So in today's video, we'll use some commands of Revit like extrusion, sweep and creating voids and we'll show you how to do them using this software. So basically, uh, we this is the interface of the Revit which is we have the architectural layout that is in the unit is feet and inches. So we'll go to this components and we have two options and we'll select the top option that is uh, this one. Now, when we go into this option, we'll select the casework and then we'll click on OK, casework 1. And now we'll have to see how to use these options. Let's start with the extrusion and we'll go and create a rectangle here. So we'll go with a normal rectangle of 4x4. We can just click anywhere and after that also we can modify the sizes of this. And as you can see now, we can single click and then modify the sizes. Simply, so easy and I'll go with 4 feet into 4 feet 1 and after that after you do that we can just uh, check out this in the 3D as well and to change this extrusion you can change this to 10 feet 6 feet or whatever height we want to give we can give that and then click on apply and then after that we need to click on the tick mark otherwise it will not show so let me just show you and we'll go to view option and in this view we'll just go to and open the default 3D view and as you can see in the 3D also this is like this so as, as long as we don't go back and uh, click on escape and click on the tick mark it will not show so I'm just click, I'll just click on escape until the tick mark shows up as you can see now I'll click and now okay now I'll click on the tick mark and then and then go back to the 3D now then it shows I'm just I just did this to purposely show you as you can see I can just uh, insert any height here it will just change automatically and click on apply to change automatically. I have also the option of dragging and increasing or decreasing. I can also do that but ultimately I will settle with a height of 6 feet here and I will not change beyond that. And after I have to go with the height of 6 feet I will just click on ok and apply. And after that uh, let's use the, the next uh, thing which is called your blend. Now I am using blend here. Now for using blend it is very simple we have the two shapes and one is the backward shape I'm just selecting the plane here as you can see and after I select the plane and I'll just show this also setting a plane you know sets uh, in which plane will, will work I'm going to the view front view and after that I'll just uh, make our shape here the first shape let us make so we can uh, make this using rectangle square you can make this in using anything so I'm just making a circle of diameter, let's say, uh, and uh, one feet. And after that, I'll make a circle of higher diameter, double the diameter for the next. Now select the top for the next thing. I'm taking the circle once again, and I'll start from the center this time. Circle taken. Start from the center until I'll just go for a, you know, double the diameter and click on OK. Now I'll check in the 3D view just to show you what like this you can see I can make the opposite also like the higher diameter in the in the bottom and the, and the lower diameter in the top like that also I can do so using this I can create such shapes so like this you can create this shapes and edit them and after that I'll use the next command blend so this is very uh, this is very common so, sorry revolve so first of all I'll click, click on the axis line and uh, I can just use the axis line as you can see there are two options axis line boundary boundary line so once I've defined the axis line I'll go for the boundary line I'll take this option here as you can see and I'll just select this end and I'll select this end and this end and then, then I can adjust this so I have this shape and I will go again select and then select Okay, I'll select this again once again select this and select this click and then adjust this okay and then after when I try to you know close this it will not do because it is not in a closed loop as you can see it gives a warning so I need to give you know just make it in the form of a closed loop so for that I'll just take this offset command and uh, give an offset of 3 inches here so offset of 3 inches have been given and after that I'll just uh, provide the offset here and after that I'll select like normal lines to join them and when I select the normal lines you can just need to just make the offset uh, on the top left to 0 just making this to 0 and then I'll join the you know these lines I'll join it carefully okay 
now it's done now the bottom one also I'll join so this is also joined now now as you can see just click on this tick mark and as you can see this shape has been created so like this you can uh, you know create tops and various other you know objects using in Revit and in the building elevation using this option of your revolve so next option is your sweep so we'll use the sweep command and let's see how we can use the sweep command so we'll simply go to this option of sweep now in this option of sweep we can select a path and we can create various elevations uh, in the building especially in the terrace and in the terrace roof or in the parapet wall we use this so first of all we'll uh, go and we'll pick a path here and uh, just click on uh, this uh, pick a path and then uh, select the 3d edges and I'll select all the edges here you can select four or three edges depending on where you want the design and after that I'll go to my front view tick mark and then I'll go to this edit profile and after clicking on edit profile I'll go to the front view so now I'll make the profile let's say let's start with here and go two inches and two inches to the left and then two inches uh, to the top and then uh, enter and then three inches to the right enter and then just uh, three inches to the right enter and then just uh, join this make this a closed loop like this close this and click on tick mark observe it in 3d view by the way if you are wondering how i just to click on tick mark how I rotate this, I am doing this using the my mouse middle button and the shift button. Okay, so as you can see, this are the, this is the design which has been created using the option of sweep. So this is very commonly used in building elevations, as you must have seen in very 3D. So now we'll go to create and uh, use the next thing, which is called the sweep blend. So what the sweep blend does is it it is a combination of the sweep and blend, as the name suggests. You can create two types of profile here. Let me just delete this and uh, sweep blend and select any one edge here pick the 3d edge and uh, select any one edge here and after that okay i'll select one edge only for this for demonstrating and i'll just uh, click on the tick mark and then go to the edit profile front view and then go to the edit profile and i have this two you know edit profiles i have this one and two so one is the first one so two is the second one i'm selecting a rectangle here and I'll go to the tick mark and I'll select uh, profile 2 and I'll uh, create a bigger rectangle here just to show you how this works uh, so tick mark and then uh, again as you can see this is a bigger rectangle here and this is a smaller rectangle here so this is this will join now when I click the tick mark option as you can see this is joined so like this you can use this option of your uh, sweep blend now we'll use the next option which is used for creating the voids which is also known as your void forms so in the void forms option i'll go with the simple option of your uh, you know extrusion void extrusion i'll select the option of void extrusion here and create uh, certain holes in this particular this is a 4 fit into 4 fit so i'll just create holes in this and and this option is used to create you know holes circular holes or various types of holes in the parapet wall or in walls or boundary walls like this you can do so i have okay so now i'll just go to create and then uh, select this option of void extrusion as you can see the first one i'll select and after that i'll just select the you know face for that i'll go to go to this option pick a plane and then pick this plane front one in front of me and then show this okay I'm now sure that this is the plane which has been selected now I'll go to the view right view and then make I'll make a circular hole let's say and the depth will be our fix that is four feet we know this the dimension is four feet and the diameter we can give anything let's go with this one feet radius and then we'll just make this as four feet so now I'll just click on this after uh, clicking on this for making four feet apply and clicking on the tick mark and click on escape now as you can see 
this is the hole which has been created so like this you can use this tools to create various uh, you know options in the revit if you like this video hit the like button and comment below how did you find and if you i will just bring more video tutorials on this series so subscribe to our channel for more videos on revit or tecla or any other software and concepts related to civil engineering see you in the upcoming videos keep learning stay safe and wherever you are stay happy bye bye have a nice day